Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now you might be wondering, why a bit is the video starting off with me fighting a Gardevoir? Well I'll tell you. A friend of mine, uh, Reaper Xanarchy, had a brilliant idea. Uh, because if you remember, on Route 111, I, I, I couldn't get a Pokemon on it because there was no grass and I didn't have a fishing pole. So he told me, that was, me, that was my fishing pole. So he said, well, why don't you just keep rock smashing those two rocks that are blocking the path until you find something? And I was like, genius! And since I didn't really want you guys to have to sit, I didn't know how long it was going to take, so I didn't want you guys to sit there and watch me doing it. But it, it, uh, it didn't take very long. But I found a Gardevoir, so now I'm fighting it, and I hope I can catch it, because Gardevoirs are fucking sick, and... I need And they're strong. I need something strong, and I have nothing but, but balls, so... Let's try and catch us. It gets me. I hope double team's not the only thing it knows. It's level 15, so I probably know some good shit. I'm pretty excited. I want this motherfucking thing. I want this motherfucking thing. For my motherfucking team. These things just keep double team. What the fuck? Are you serious? I, I, you, how does this happen to me? 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 Holy balls. You can't make this shit up, man. What? 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 Alright, so, Guard War Teleport, like a little fucker. Like a little fucker. I get roared, I get fucking teleported, I teleport, man, fuck this game, shit. Well, that was bullshit, I'm gonna fight this whore. When you're out on a picnic, wait, that's in, yeah, yeah, fuck, I read that wrong. I don't care, man. The rage is strong with this one. Alright, pick, picker, Carol, I hope you're ready for the beating of a lifetime, because I'm mad as hell. Well, it was a good idea, Mike. Reaper. It was a good idea. Unfortunately, I failed you. Sort of. I can't really say that was my fault. You know, I'm starting to think rollout is a dangerous move. Because if I'm locked into it and, like, a fucking... Venusaur flies out and kicks my ass, I won't be good. Oh, never mind. I forgot. I have the option to change. What does Yamcha know? Does he know any bug moves? I, I hope he... No, he doesn't, because he sucks ass. Fucking useless ass Yamcha. Okay, um... Let's go to Cucumbre. I see your Lombre, and I raise you a Cucumbre. Freaking duck lips and your dirty hairy... Dirty hairy... Dirty Sanchez looking lips. Okay. God damn it, dude. Is it, does it, everything I encounter have some sort of way of fleeing? Like, my goodness. That is bullfuck. Anyway, so in this episode we might fight um, Archie, I think is his name. Archie or Maxi, whoever the leader of Team Magma is. I'm not sure how f but when, when you fight him, but I think it's soon, so... Three Geo dudes, I presume. How, 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 how did I know? How did I know? That was just a strange, like, mashup of words. A throop. 
I don't know where my, uh, I, I threw my Outback Steakhouse coaster somewhere. I don't know where it went. Hmm. I, I literally, I don't see it anywhere. I have no idea where that landed. Uh, I wonder if I'll get sued for product placement. For the record, I am not sponsored by Outback Steakhouse, Jif Peanut Butter, or Gatorade. But if those three things want to sponsor me, I have no complaints. I will plug the shit out of you. Outback Steakhouse, get yourself a fine ass steak. Gatorade, never go thirsty again, motherfucker. What is this? Astonish? Oh, I'm astonished. All right, well, Whirlpool kind of sucks, so I might as well just switch it. I really kind of need that coaster. Oh shit! It was right, it was right at my feet. No worries, Outback Steakhouse. We have 14 ways to prepare steak, unless you come up with a 15th. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm also sponsored by Forks. Was it really three Geo dudes? Yep, yeah, it was. Oh my gosh. Hiker suck of the wiener. Like, how, like, okay, he caught his first Geodude, and he was probably excited, like, yeah, I got a Geodude! And then he ran into another one, and he was honestly like, oh, yes, another Geodude! And then he ran into another one, and went, yes, another Geodude! Like, what? Ouch, my legs cramped up. <laughs> what? I just lost, oh my god, I can't move. Can you grab me some bandages for my backpack? No, that's my Pokenavo final register you. What? You say you say that like oh fun, like as if I wanted you to. Ha 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 ha! How about we have a battle, you and me? Ha ha ha! Creepy motherfucker. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Thank God he's got something else. Oh man. It's like a pair of balls just chilling on this thing's head. Got cute little legs, though. Kind of like shroomish. <sighs> All right, now I. Th I think this cave enter this cave right here is the uh I lost oh! That is really creepy. Laughing doesn't make you seem friendly, it makes you seem I mean if you overuse laughing it makes you seem creepy as shit. I think this is a secret lab or whatever. Oh I can get a new dude! Alright, so we have another chance. We have another chance. For the love of shit, be something good. Ah, that's not very good. Yeah, no, no, that's not good. No, no that kind of sucks, Dick. Yep, that pretty, that, yep, sucks. That uh, that radicate you see there with the with the big ass teeth, it uses that teeth to nibble balls, cause it sucks balls. All right, you know what? I'm catching it. Uh, you know what? Unless I kill the fucking thing. I can probably catch this thing right now, honestly. You piece of shit. Yo, don't kill fucking BB Dub, alright? That's not cool. Uh, do it, Oh, oh sh Oh, never mind. Put its ass to sleep. Come on. I don't even. I'm trying to. At least it's good. I'm trying to think of a nickname for it. Oh, I gotta wait. Shit. Whatever. I might as well just try to catch it again. If the Pokeball works and not the Great Ball, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? Urgh! 
I'm not, all right, I think I'm just going to stick to buggy balls. Because I almost got it. Now that he's asleep, I think we can get it. Sort of. N not, not, not more like. <laughs> yeah. I got a radicate. Yeah. <laughs> I got a radicate. <laughs> Fuck you. Mouse Pokemon. It's a rat, you fucks. Eradicates sturdy fangs grow steadily. To keep them ground down, it gnaws on rocks and logs. It may even chew on the walls of houses. Yes. I don't know if this will fit. I think it will, though. This is not creative in any way. I just think it sounds funny. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I'm gonna name a rat a nipple. I wanted to name a rat a nipples, but can't put the S in there. So we're just gonna call him rat a nipples, or I can call him rat nipples. <laughs> yeah, let's call him rat nipples. Oh, now we go back. <laughs> oh, man. I am just the fucking picture of maturity here. Rat nipples. I mean, it's a chick, so it makes sense. Alright, rat nipples. Oh, let's get our asses to a pick and moon center. I'm gonna just speed over there real quick. There's probably one, like, on the other side of that cave. <laughs> Alright, well, I got six dudes. I've, one thing I think, I'm pretty sure, Raticate can learn Surf, I think. I mean, wait, who gives a shit? I already have Surfers, never mind. I need a flying guy, that's right. Fuck. Alright, we are back. I'm gonna, let's see what else I could have gotten. This is gonna be, like, fucking amazing. See? Like, I would have been way happier with a Magneton. Oh my gosh. That would have been great. But alas... Magneton's one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. I don't know why. He just is easily, like, in my top, like, five. I can teach strength to eradicate though, which is cool. Actually, I'm gonna do that real quick. There might be something over here. Alright. Rat it rat nipples. Rat nipples already knows four moves. Yes. He probably knows something completely useless. Tail whip. Goodbye. Alright, rat nipples learn strength. <laughs> I got some strong ass rat nipples. Uh. Oh shit! Don't I? I think I need a gym badge in order to use that outside of battle. That's right. Fuck me. My bad. That's fucking bullshit. It doesn't even make sense. It's like, you strength the Raticate. It's like, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I don't have the badge. Like, what? Wait, what route is this? One twelve. Never mind. Can't catch anything. Oh, double battle. Whoop. Because I already caught uh, Yamcha's dumbass on uh, Route 112. <clears throat> At least BB Dub's getting strong though, by uh, killing all these hikers and fire breathers. I wonder what guy at Game Freak was just like, you know what this game needs? Fire breathers. Like, what the fuck? Oh, Kindler. Whatever. It's the same thing, isn't it? There's fire breathers and crystal. I know that. So, Kindler's just a guy that makes fire. He doesn't breathe, he just makes them. He just makes it. What's your profession? Ah, oh, make fire. Like, what the fuck? Okay.
Oh, aren't you an adorable trainer? Please, I need a romantic battle. I'm somewhat decent. This may be the first lesbian in Pokemon. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird that they would put a lesbian in Pokemon. Oh, there's anything wrong with it. I'm all about that lesbian life. What am I up against? Shroomish? Let's see if rad nipples can take it. I think we got this. Strength is a pretty strong move. Fucking hate Shroomish, dude. It's a pain in my rat nipples to kill this fucking thing. You piece of shit, rat nipples! Fuck! This motherfucker's gonna die. Quick attack, because that goes first every time you use it. Bitch, didn't see that one coming. Alright, well, Rat Nipples is not feeling too great right now. Oh, by the way, Cucumber's level 29. I don't know if I mentioned that when he leveled up, but that's pretty cool. I think he leveled up when I killed that Lombre. And the good thing is, there's the old, I forgot, there's the old Granny over here somewhere, right? There's like an old lady, there's like an old grandma's house that'll heal your shit. Show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. Was this like an ace trainer or some shit? Cool trainer, whatever, same thing. Oh god, my hands are hot, so I have to put them in front of the fan. Ooh. Oh, whoa, don't want to fight you. Okay. Ah, that's right, bitch. I don't think we'll be fighting uh, the the leader team Magma this 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 episode, but I don't know. We still have eight minutes, so anything can happen. Hey, I got one of those too, and mine's way cooler. That's a lot of XP, son. I'm pretty sure I discovered the weakness to Makuhita. You don't even need to battle them. You just untie their head and they die. Their skin just falls off. Whew, God, it's freaky. The cucumber might become level 30. I'm pretty sure he will. This, uh, this, this episode, I mean. How many fucking people can I fit in this phone? Holy shit. Alright, that guy just talks about, like, going inside, like, tree houses or some shit. Alright, yeah, this lady will heal your Pokemon, which is cool. Albeit, kind of creepy, but it's all good. Oh dear, dear, aren't your Pokemon exhausted? If you like, rest up here. That's a fine idea. You should do that. That's right. Take your time and rest up. She doesn't even have a bed. Like, how the hell does she sleep here? You should take another rest here. I think, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. One's, one's good. Why would that even be an option? Like, why would they bother? It's like, oh, yeah, I should probably take another one. I'm pretty sure I can see my interview here. In search of trainers. Gabby, hi. Today I'm visiting an area near Route 111. We're trying to stop, just trying to spot some up and coming new talent in the field. Today we turned our lens on the trainer booty. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is. Well, the fastest way is to battle, so we began our investigation. That's how we ended up in a battle with booty. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Booty is ruthlessly strong. Yeah, I'm like a fucking hitman. Like, what? Here's our impressions after... Trainer 47. Here's our impressions after having battled our future trainer. I lost confidence in myself as a result of our encounter. We were beaten before we could launch a single attack. Oh, snivel. In spite of that, Booty's battles are worth seeing. I recommend confident trainers to challenge Booty. After our battle, we asked Booty for a succinct summary. The trainer replied, "Aye!" And we were like, oh, "Let's get the fuck out of here." <laughs> Booty's Pokémon Relicanth and Claydol, and "Aye!" Mmm, that's deep. There's a deep significance, deep significance behind that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for you. That's all for today. 
see you again on our next broadcast. Yeah, that's some deep shit. I'm a real fucking Shakespeare with those quotes. I'm a, I'm a regular Freeman. Might as well call me Trainer de Grass. As in, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson or whatever the guy's name is. He's like the most quoted dude. Him and Carl Sagan are like the most quoted people, like, ever. Reddit gets a little out of hand with the fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson quotes. I'm like, Jesus. I mean, the guy's awesome, but shit. Like, if you go, I like, I like, I love space shit. Space is cool as fuck. It just blows my mind. But what I'm getting at here is, if you go on the subreddit space, people uh, just constantly, I don't even know what I'm doing with my hand, people just constantly upload just a picture of Neil deGrasse Tyson with a quote. And I'm like, come on. Like, like, five of them a day. I'm like, can I please get some, like, space shit? Like, god damn. Super potion. Cool trainer. You ain't cool. You a cheater. Might be seeing you on G4 later. On cheaters. I don't think G4 exists anymore, actually. Pretty sure it does not. Cucumber is OP as balls, and I'm loving every second of it. He's gonna come in handy when I come face to face with Flannery's Torkoal. That thing is an asshole. All right, well, let's just let's just go ahead and get that level thirty by wasting this numel. Twenty-two, eighteen, Level 30! Hell yeah! I probably need to stop now, because I don't think... I think that's the maximum I can get for them to obey me at the moment, so I don't think... If I level them up again, Cucumber might stop listening to my ass. Which would not be good. I'll probably have to do some... Oh! Can catch another dude! Please. Pokemon God. Give me strength! Alright. Who the fuck wants to get in my balls? Come on, baby. Come on! <laughs> I fucking love this. Okay, you know what? I'm not even mad about that. That's fucking awesome. Alright. Love Disc, you are mine. I am not bitter about this whatsoever. It's so useless, but so awesome. Oh man, fucking love this. That, a, a few episodes ago, I don't remember which one, I was talking about novelty Pokemon, such as, uh, or gimmick Pokemon, like, far-fetched. Stunfisk, plus all mine, and, like, useless Pokemon that are just, ditto, that are just there for, like, you know, just gimmicky dudes. Love Disk is another really gimmicky Pokemon. It's, like, so useless. I'm fucking catching this thing, I don't give a shit. <clears throat> this motherfucker is gonna, he's going places, I'm gonna keep, I'm keeping him. I got a perfect nickname for this fucking thing, too. Love Disc makes the brand... Rendezvous Pokemon. Uh, what? <laughs> Love Disc makes the branches of Corsola their nests. There is a custom from long ago of giving a Love Disc as a gift to express one's feelings of love. So they're just used as an object, basically. That's great. Yes. Prepare yourself. What am I even doing? So, Love Disc is going to become... Loves... I think you all know where this is going.
Love's Dick. Love Disc is now Love's Dick. Oh boy, I'm a sick fuck. Alright, let's go back to Granny's house. Alright, well that is a fantastic place to stop. I just healed again, because I'm an idiot. Okay, shut the fuck up. No. Why would you why would you offer that after two naps? Anyway. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I forgot to say that before that previous line. Peace!